What's going on guys, it's Jarama. Welcome back to another episode of NBA Kicks. Now the NBA regular season is coming to a close. The last game will be this Friday. But remember, not only is NBA Kicks going to continue throughout the playoffs, but I also have a very special top 10 episode where I take the hundreds of kicks that we've gone through throughout the entire season and I pick the 10 best. Every episode of NBA Kicks is basically going to come down to this single video. So if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so you don't miss that episode as well as other episodes throughout the postseason. I cannot wait for the playoffs. The West is looking absolutely insane and the East has some pretty good matchups as well. But before we get to the playoffs, we got to get through this week. NBA Kicks Week 24. Let's do this. Starting off this week's list at number 10, we have James Harden with the debut of the Harden BE3 from Adidas. Now, usually when someone debuts a brand new signature sneaker, it's good enough to take the number one spot, but these really aren't a signature sneaker, it's a team shoe. Now, if you're not familiar with the Harden BE line, it's a budget series that offers lower price points, but also tries to maintain similar or comparable performance on the court to his signature line. The third installment in the BE line uses a mid to high cut design as well as a strap on the collar and a shroud that covers the lacing system but also gives the silhouette an overall clean look and I'm especially loving the three stripe branding on the upper. At first glance these look a lot like an Adidas version of the Nike Soldier 11s but it's still pretty interesting to see how the BE line is really trying to make a name for itself by taking a different approach from its signature counterpart and that's enough to make this week's list. Next up at number 9, we have Frank Kaminsky with a Game of Thrones custom of the Jordan CP3 11s. Frank the Tank looks like he's ready for the final season of Game of Thrones with this custom colorway of the CP3 11s that feature Jon Snow and the Mother of Dragons on the left shoe while the Night King graces the right side. These were done by SR Customs on Instagram who put in some solid work here but my favorite part about these has to be the blue dragon eye on the back right heel which fits right in with Frank's Hornets uniforms but if only the NBA had a dragon team then this custom would be absolutely perfect for him. Coming in at number 8, we have PJ Tucker with the first custom colorway of the Nike Adapt BB. Last week, we covered the second official colorway of Nike's auto lacing basketball sneaker, but this week, we have our first custom colorway of the revolutionary silhouette worn by none other than PJ Tucker himself. Now, these really aren't the cleanest customs in the world, and they could definitely use some cleaning up, but when you put together a black and red sneaker, I'm in all the way because those are my two favorite colors and I'm also digging the personal branding on the tongue with PJ's number and team logo as well as the hit of silver on the Nike swoosh. You know what? These customs are awesome. I don't care what anyone says. PJ, you did a good job here. Next up at number 7, we have LeBron James with the remix colorway of the Nike LeBron 16. Now LeBron is officially out for the remainder of this season but that hasn't stopped him from wearing new LeBron watch sneakers on the sidelines as evidence here with the LeBron 3 inspired colorway of his 16th signature model. Inspired by the remix colorway of the LeBron 3s, these use the same patent leather overlays that we saw on the Superman LeBron 16s, but swap out those primary colors for red, gold, and black, which as a 49ers fan makes me all giddy inside until I remember that the Lakers are still not in the playoffs. It's okay, we still got 16 banners. Next up at number 6, we have Chris Paul with a new colorway of the Jordan CP312s. Now on its surface, the latest colorway of the CP312s don't look all that interesting. It's bright, it uses primary colors, and that's about it. But when you take a closer look at them, you'll notice that there's an interesting graphic on the medial overlay, as well as a unique logo on the tongue. Now the medial graphic, that's easy. It's obviously inspired by Connect 4, which is a classic, but the logo on the tongue, I swear I know what it is, but I just can't quite put my finger on where it's from. So I'm going to need an assist from you guys here on this one. If you know where this logo is from, let me know what it is in the comment section below. 
But as for the sneaker, it's simple, it's clean, and there might be another colorway inspired by a classic board game in the future, since CP posted his two favorite games on Instagram, Connect4 and Sorry. Honestly though, who's ever played Sorry? I mean, if you play Sorry, I'm sorry, but I haven't played Sorry. Sorry. Next up at number five, we have PJ Tucker again, this time with the Nike Hirachi Trainer Low. Now these technically aren't a basketball sneaker, but that still didn't stop PJ from rocking them on the court during his game against the Phoenix Suns. This particular colorway of the Hirachi Trainer Low is an EA Sports collaboration, as you can see with the EA logo on the tongue, and uses a red, white, and gum bottom color scheme that looks absolutely incredible on the court and are also an extremely rare sneaker since they only dropped during the release of EA Sports Finite Champion via a giveaway on Twitter and Facebook. Coming in at number 4, we have Russell Westbrook with a cane colorway of the Jordan Y9 0.2. Russ is back with yet another colorway of his second signature model that also comes in some special edition packaging. Inspired by the legendary wrestler Kane, this black and red colorway comes with a WWE style ring which comes complete with a championship belt that declares Russ as the sneaker champ. Now I'm gonna have to leave that for the people to decide but it's really hard to argue with Russ since he's been absolutely killing it this season and his latest colorway only helps prove his case and comes at the perfect time since Wrestlemania just happened last night. Oh yeah, on a quick side note, I want to know from you guys who would be the best professional wrestler in the NBA. I'm going to go with DeMarcus Cousins because he's always mad. Next up at number 3, we have Irvin Rowland with a custom colorway of the Harden Volume 3. Now we've all heard the tragic news about artist Nipsey Hussle passing away in a gang related shootout and a few of the guys around the league have honored the late rapper via their kicks, but none did it better than Irving Rowling of the Los Angeles Clippers. Roland is an assistant coach for the Clippers, but he was on the court before their game against the Rockets and rocked this amazing custom that features flawless artwork of the late artist and is easily my favorite Nipsey Hussle sneaker worn from the past week. But right now, we're going to take a moment of silence for Nip. Coming in as our runner-up, we have Damian Lillard with a Game of Zones Customs of the Dame 5 from Adidas. Now, if you're a basketball fan and you haven't heard of Bleacher Report's animated series Game of Zones, guess what? You're not really a basketball fan. Obviously, Dame is a fan of the animated series, as he shows here with this pair of custom kicks. They use a rugged black, red, and gray color scheme that looks like it was picked right out of the world of Westeros and also feature Dane's character in Game of Zones with a custom hang tag. These could drop on adidas.com right now and I guarantee you that they would instantly sell out. I know I'd pick up a pair because you guys already know that gray, black, and red is my favorite combination of colors. Finally, at number one, we have Trey Young with an ice tray custom of the next level from Adidas. This year, the Atlanta Hawks have been wearing their throwback blue and red jerseys so Trey Young took to the court with these customs that lean into his Migos given nickname Ice Trey with an icy theme color scheme and graphics alongside a custom Ice Trey cooler that Trey walked into the arena with before the game. Not only are the kicks themselves a joy to look at, but the whole theatrics of walking into the arena with custom packaging is really what NBA Kicks is all about. So that's why you're seeing them here at number one as the best sneaker worn in the NBA during week 24 of the 2018-19 NBA season. Let me know which of these 10 sneakers is your favorite in the comment section below. And don't forget to let me know who you think would be the best wrestler in the NBA. I'm going to crack up hearing what you guys have to say about that. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel by clicking on the logo in the middle of the screen. My name is Jaren. It's Brigade Avenue. Catch you in the next one. Peace.